coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's Archer's Choice. All you can do is thank the big Lord, the good Lord above, and thank you, Lord, for having this morning, for having us be able to witness this together, and then you just shine down on us, and it was just amazing. There is something about elk hunting, huh? Yeah. That can get you so fired up. Yeah, it does. You know, and it, it's a. I think it's part of it's where you're at in the quakies and the terrain, but it's in also- In the mountains, in I the mean, mountains, they're just- And then all of a sudden, you know, it's the far off bugle that you hear and you're <sighs> just like, is it gonna Ooh, come closer? And then all of a sudden there's one that's a little bit closer and it just, it gets you You hear them raking, you hear all this. And I mean, it just, yeah. You know, we used to elk hunt every year and then we sort of went into our moose stuff yep. and sort of, I think we need to be elk hunting more. I kind of like them both in the freezer, so you know, yeah. we gotta do what we gotta do. But hey, this week we're back in Utah at the Curl Ranch, Curl Ranch Outfitters with Clint and Christine and Greg. And Unbelievable. I mean, Ralph has a cow, it's already in the freezer, we are set, but I still have a bow tag. So we need to a bow tag, we need yeah, to get going. Bull. She bull. got, she got, she got the bull tag. I do, so let's get going. I, I got the cow tag. Next morning, we're gonna go back to the same place. We left everything up there where we needed to do, camera arms, tree arms, the whole nine yards. So all we gotta do is climb up in our stand as quietly as possible and wait. The guys told me, you know, hold off. Whatever trips your trigger, take it. But hold off because you're gonna see some good critters. We end up seeing six different bulls in one sit. We saw mule deer doe, a fawn. We had two small bulls come in and they're mewing at each other. It almost sounded like we should have been looking around for a cow elk. They're mewing at each other and then all of a sudden they start like just sparring. For four minutes, they just sat there and they sparred and sparred and sparred. I mean, it was really cool just to sit there and watch this and realize that I'm sitting on a platform elevated and these bulls have no idea that I'm sitting there and they are just, I felt like I was watching a special like nature show or something. It was pretty awesome. The Archer's Choice crew has traveled to scenic northern Utah in hopes of harvesting the great North American elk. So far, Ralph has successfully harvested himself a large cow elk. Meanwhile, Vicky is in pursuit of a bull. As the crew continues to hunt, they learn about the rich history of the area and discover the deep roots of the Curl Ranch. My great-grandfather, uh, came up here in 1863. He was one of six uh, white men that came into the area. The area was full of uh, Native Americans, Shoshones, and Utes. And they came in here the first year, the six of them, to settle and uh, make a better life for themselves. The uh, Indians actually ran them out the first year. They had to go back down to the Salt Lake City area. They came back the next spring with more men and more guns, and, and actually we've been here ever since uh, with homesteading and taking over the area uh, to make a better life, uh, ranching. Uh, my great-grandfather James just, just wanted to settle. He actually came here from England, and uh, we've been here ever since. Uh, I'm a third generation that's been here on the place, and uh, it's it, uh, been a great life for me. Our ranch sits at about 6,000 feet, and we go from alfalfa to sagebrush to quake and aspen to black pine. The reality of it is, is this is why we hunt, that we can experience all this. We can see all this wildlife at point blank range. We're not seeing them at 150 yards. We're seeing them at 25. 
and they're all around you and this it, and it just it'll blow your mind what they have here in addition to being an outfitting operation by day the curl ranch also serves as a rescue and shelter for animals of all sizes and species during a break from hunting Ralph and Vicky are led by Clint to the shelter to get a look at what actually goes on behind the scenes of a rescue operation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. what are you doing? Oh, oh, my yeah. oh yes. Oh. Hi there. Oh my. oh my goodness. They're beautiful. When we got him, we got him from a sheep man and the sheep man had just been shooting the pups. <laughs> And he wanted him to be named something biblical, and he'd been calling him Jeremiah, and he just didn't. And he was like eight or uh, two months old, eight weeks, and he wouldn't respond to Jeremiah. So he's like sitting right over there one day, and I come here and I start running names, biblical names past, and he just sits there, and I Moses. He got up. <laughs> he got up, walked over, and sat down. He picked his own name out, and he's been Moses. Ever when you since. said Moses. When I said Moses. So I think one of the reasons why we hit it off with, with Clint and Chris and, and, and Gar Greg, I mean, real simple, because they, they take in wounded animals. <laughs> and, and I probably fit that. Yeah, they, they, mentally and physically, they probably would, they would adopt me. <laughs> That'd be really cool, because I'd have all this to hunt, but I don't think he's going to do it. I really don't. We take in young, old. Well, I'm glad the old part came yeah. in. <laughs> Clint, now I'm feeling better. <laughs> This is Billy, he's a, he's a rescue, he's the African pygmy. That's, that's Elvis, he's got... Elvis. Uh, hey Elvis. BLS, he was abused, he's berserk llama syndrome. It's an actual syndrome, he's, really is. Okay, now, it's, come on. Does he BLS. Berserk llama syndrome. So, yeah. does he go berserk? I'll say, we'll show you. So we meet all these animals, and there's this one, they call him Elvis. And Elvis took a liking to me. I was scared. This thing comes up to you, gives you this big eye, and puts his face right in your face, and you're sitting there like, what, what's he gonna do? And Clint's laughing, he's loving all this. And then he starts like scratching the back end of Elvis, and Elvis starts spitting. Phone. <laughs> I wonder if this is good cover scent. <laughs> and they're loving it. Everybody's laughing except moi. Because I'm sitting there going, yeah, this, uh, you know what I mean? And you're ducking and, and there's slime going everywhere. And they're laughing and it's all on Ralph. Again, the innocent one takes the brunt of all of the pain and disappointment. But I'm used to it. I got broad shoulders, shoulders and I, I just I, I just don't think it's fair. I, I mean, El, Elvis did give me his number though. It's amazing and I mean, they take rescued animals and they raise them so that they have a good life and it's crazy. I mean, peacocks, raccoons, everything. Sheep, dogs, I love their dogs too. Hi He's there, Boots. How are you? They have everything. Like, I could move here and just live and help them take care of these animals. I mean, they're so cute. Not a giant operation, really down home, good people, private land, and tons of critters other than the big game animals. Curl Ranch Outfitters, you better remember this. As morning arrives, Vicki readies herself for another day in the woods. Ralph has tagged out, so Vicki is going to give it another go in hopes of tagging a bull. So we 
decided what's going to happen is because we sat in the stand again in the evening, we're going to come back that same place in the morning. So we're not setting everything up in the dark and we can sneak in real quietly and that's how it's going to go. So the next morning we go, we get set up in our stand as quietly as possible and we wait. Well, as soon as we get up in the tree, we hear a bugle off in the distance and we can hear them. And then we hear some brush breaking and we're like, okay, something's going to happen. And Kenneth and I look at each other and we're like, we need to stand up. This is, I mean, this is just first camera light. And we hear some more branches, some more walking. And then all of a sudden I look up this dark trail and here's this bully standing there. And I'm like, oh buddy. And all of a sudden he just, he didn't hesitate. He just looked and all of a sudden he just comes running down. <laughs> it reminded me of my dog Boomer, big dog flying down the stairs. This is a big elk. He's flying down this hillside and he comes right into the water. He comes right to where he, at first he's like almost 40 yards away. And I'm like, patience, Vicki, patience, just wait. And he gets to 22 yards and he starts drinking broadside. And I had to wait and I held it and I held it and I put my arm down for a bit. And I waited and I waited and finally he moved that leg forward, went ahead, got my pin on him. It, everything happens so fast that you know, like when you make a good shot and you don't remember exactly how it all went down, but after he took that first step and I watched him snap my arrow in half, I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> boiler maker, he's not going anywhere. Oh, right behind the shoulder, bud. I got my second elk <laughs> ever. <laughs> he didn't go anywhere, it sounds like he fell. Maybe 60 yards that way. He brushed the thing. He's done. He's a, he's a beautiful bull. I'm excited. What a great Saturday morning. Oh, look at that sunrise. Oh, tell me there's not a god. I probably need to call someone and let them know that it is. Look, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. Hey, how's it going? What happened? I need coffee. It's cold out here. It's, we, we need, we need two coffees. It's cold out here. Did I what? I need coffee. <laughs> He's gonna knock me out. Why would you knock me out? Honey. What? Did you shoot a bull? There might be a six by six laying about mm, 70 yards from us. <laughs> there is a six by six laying about 70 yards from Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Clint said he'll, we'll be there in a few minutes, okay? Yeah. I'm like, I hunted elk from a tree stand in Utah and I got me a bull. You got it, girl. You got it, <laughs> Telling you. Incredible. K-R-O. We will be here a lot. This is just Utah. I love Utah. This, this, this is good elk country. It's, it's oh. kind of overlooked to some degree. But well, let him, let him overlook yeah. it. I just shot a beautiful Utah bull elk. I've called Ralph, I'm telling him what's going on. They're getting stuff together. And all of a sudden I look up on the hillside and there's a cow and a calf coming down elk. And they're coming in and then all of a sudden there's a big five, big wide five by five following her down. They all come to the water hole, they start drinking. He's in love. He is absolutely in love with this cow. Now, mind you, I just got off the phone with Ralph, and I wasn't quiet. They finally start walking up. He lets out a bugle that just, it just, it was a perfect morning.
hopeful that Vicky's bull is down not far from the stand, Ralph and the crew make the scenic drive to meet up with Vicky to start tracking. <laughs> Did you come running up here? <laughs> it was one of those things that it was just meant to happen and it happened and look, he, Clint brought me coffee. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you. All of a sudden we had a party up by the wallows because there's all of us are there together. They brought me coffee, which was awesome. So I have a big dead Utah bull elk and coffee. What a morning. You can't beat that morning. Hi. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> but I'm all over those branches there. I told him, I said, you know what? I said, the way he ran, he ran back down towards the two tracks, so we shouldn't have much, we shouldn't have too hard of a time getting him out of here. Here's your bull. Right there. Where? The yeah. oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, go, 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 go. Get out of my way. <laughs> oh, look at your first Utah bull. <sighs> look oh, at him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Mm. So proud of you, girl. Oh my gosh. Well, get him. I would love to get him. <laughs> Look at this. Oh. <laughs> K-R-O. Y'all are oh. going to remember this for many years. <laughs> thank you. Oh, you did thank good. you, thank you. It's so good. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Yeah, look at the shot. He is a beautiful bull. My first Utah bull. Only my second elk ever. I am just, you know what? I just gotta thank the good Lord above, cause yes, man. this is a beautiful elk. Yeah, I don't know where we're putting him, but I oh. just going home on the wall. Okay, oh. I, I just, in this moment of triumph and joy, and joy. Um, my cow's still gonna taste better. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Whatever, honey. You know what? Congratulations. <laughs> Ralph and I have just now tagged out two elk tags, a cow and a bull elk, here in Utah with KRO Outfitters, just Curl Ranch, <laughs> amazing. We're in Brad, Utah. Brad, I mean, this is just, what do you say? Hunting with Ralph and Vicki this week has been really, really good. With Ralph and Vicki, it's the truth. Whatever happens, whatever they're showing is what exactly happened. There wasn't 10 re different retakes of her shot. We didn't have to pose the bull in a certain spot so that she could make herself look better because these guys are great. I can't think of one single time that we haven't spent at least half of our time laughing, which is what hunting is all about. It's about the camaraderie. Our type of hunting is, it's fun. It's fun to be with people, to experience their different opinions, your opinion, share it, and have a great time. And Ralph and Vicki have just been an awesome, awesome time. How do you say it? You pinned him. Perfect shot. I it mean, just everything was perfect. It, you did it so, it was so early. It was almost like textbook. I mean, you hear a bugle out in the distance. He works his way in. He come, first clip on the camera is him running down. He stood at the top of that hill, looked around, and come running in like a dog. I'm thirsty. And he, right there, bam, it was over with. Called you up, told you I needed coffee. She, I get a phone call story. back at camp. Clinton, and I was like, she's calling. And I looked at Clinton, I was like, they shot something or they forgot something. I was thinking really they forgot something and then all of a sudden she, I need coffee. Right when she said I need coffee, I knew it. You know, because I'm pretty quick. I'm, I'm yeah, we had an amazing sweet. time out there and the oh amount of animals goodness. they had and everything. Carol, Curl Ranch Outfitters, Mule Deer, Clint, Christine, Greg, all Moose, you guys are amazing. Elk. Ralph loves Elvis the Llama. No. I mean, okay, Elvis loves Ralph. You know, all kinds of things happen on that trip, you know? And it's not like we were in Vegas. It was like what happens in Utah stays in Utah, but we're just gonna leave it at that. We wanna thank you guys for watching this week's show. We'll see you next week. Okay, let's be clear before I close this, nothing happened with me and Elvis. In Utah. In Utah. Okay, just checking. Okay, All I right. wanted to make that clear. See you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here. Yep, with Ralph, Vicki, and Elvis.